Hey Sophia, there are two sets of number keys on my keyboard, but the rightmost set of number keys is not working. Why? For activating the number keys on the right side of the keyboard, you should first press the numlock key once. Numlock key? What is the function of this key? Please tell me about it. Why not, Romy? Let us learn about this in the chapter. A keyboard is an important part of a computer. Let us first revise what we have learned about the keyboard earlier. Alphabet keys. There are a total of 26 alphabet keys on a keyboard. The alphabet keys are from the letter A to Z but they are not in the same order. We can type letters and sentences using the alphabet keys. Numeric keys. The numeric keys are 10 in number. They have the number 0 to 9 written on them. We can type our age, roll number and height etc. using these keys. Special keys. The special keys have different symbols like plus, minus, at, colon, semicolon, full stop, greater than sign, smaller than sign, question mark, slash, double quotes, pounds, dollar, percentage, carrot, and asterisk, bracket, square bracket, curly braces. There are some more keys which perform some special functions. We have learnt about some special keys earlier. Let us learn about some more special keys. Cursor Control Keys A cursor is a small blinking line on the monitor that shows the current position of the text to be entered. There are four cursor control keys on a keyboard. Left, right, up and down. These keys can move the cursor left, right, up and down. These keys are also called arrow keys or direction keys. Left arrow key. It is used to move the cursor left. Right arrow key. It is used to move the cursor right. Up arrow key. It is used to move the cursor up. Down arrow key. It is used to move the cursor down. Enter keys. The enter key is pressed to move to a new line. There are two enter keys on a keyboard. Space bar key. The space bar key is pressed to give space between two numbers, words or letters. It is the longest key on the keyboard. Shift key. The shift key is used along with other keys to type special symbols and capital letters. We know that some keys on the keyboard have two symbols on them. Some of these keys are given below. When we want to type the upper symbol, we have to press the shift key along with that key. For example, if we want to type percentage, then we need to press the shift key along with the key that has the percentage symbol. When we want to type the capital letter of any English alphabet, we have to press the shift key along with that key. For example, if we want to type H, then we need to press the shift key along with the key that has the H alphabet. Caps Lock Key The Caps Lock Key is used to type in capital letters or in the upper case. This is a toggle key which means that once this key is pressed, the Caps Lock light is on which indicates that the Caps Lock key is active. On pressing the Caps Lock key again, the Caps Lock light is switched off which indicates that the Caps Lock key is not active. For example, if you type the word capital, it will appear as follows. Capital. When caps lock key is active. Capital. When caps lock key is not active. Delete key. If we had typed incorrect, then we can press the delete key to erase the wrong letter. This key deletes the letter to the right of the cursor. For example, to correct the spelling of delete, to delete, place the cursor just before the letter A and press the delete key. The delete key is called DEL in short. There are two delete keys on the keyboard, one just above the arrow keys and the other in the numeric keypad. Backspace key. This key is used to delete the letter to the left of the cursor. For example, to correct the spelling of DELETE, to delete, place the cursor just after the letter A and press the backspace key. 
Number lock key. There are two sets of numeric keys on a keyboard. The number keys 0 to 9 present on the right side of the keyboard are called numeric keypad. If we want to type the numbers using numeric keypad, the number lock key should be active or on. This is also a toggle key. Tap key. The tap key is present on the left side of the keyboard. It is pressed to move some spaces forward. It moves the cursor to the next tab. Function keys. There are 12 function keys on a keyboard. These keys are placed on top of the keyboard and each of them performs a specific function. Let's refresh. A computer has three types of keys. Alphabet keys, numeric keys and special keys. Special keys perform different functions. The four arrow keys are used to move the cursor up, down, left and right. There are two enter keys on a keyboard. The spacebar key is the longest key on the keyboard. The shift key is generally used along with the other keys. The caps lock key is used to type capital letters. The delete key removes the character to the right of the cursor. The backspace key removes the character to the left of the cursor. The number lock key is used to type numbers from the numeric keypad. The tab key helps in moving a few spaces forward. There are 12 function keys on the keyboard. Dictionary Cursor It is a small blinking line on the monitor. Toggle key A toggle key has two possibilities, that is on or off, depending on the current setting.